Alright guys, what I'm going to do here is just really quickly, these are five minute videos so they'll be fast. I'm just going to set up a double page DL spread with the trims and the fold marks. So, file new, new do we've done all this in class, this is really just a refresher. We don't want facing pages, we've got landscape, we'll have no margins around it, and OK. Alright, so what we want to do is get bleed and slug on it, so that's file document setup under here, and we want 3mm bleed and 20 mil slug okay this is the stuff that we were we we're doing in class but it's just good to be able to go over it again All right so with our fold as we discussed the cover is wider it's 100 and the cover with this one is on the right hand side so that means that the first one is 98 the smaller edge is 98 so select that change the guide to 98 and the next one is 99 so 99 plus 98 is 197 Okay, so that means that the cover over here is 100, the back of the brochure is 99, and the flap is smaller, it's 98. So we want another page now. So to keep those guides going, we'll just drag this down, and the only difference to page 1 and page 2 is the 100 is now on this side, which means we've got to grab this guide. You can either drag it across, or if not, you can just select the guide and change that to 100. And that means that the second one is going to be 199, Okay, and then we're done. So we've just got two things here. We've got the front, and the way you know it's right is just here. You can see they're a little bit out of whack, so you've got the cover on, you've got everything right. So this is the inside spread across here. We want to put fold marks so the printer knows where to fold it. So we're going to go up to this area, and between the slug, which is the blue area, and the bleed, which is the red area. So if we turn the guides up, you can see my pages there. So if I turn the guides back on, which is W or this, you can see we want to bleed pictures out the side of that, which we'll do that in another tutorial. But So literally, if you want to get it right, you can just draw a line from the slug to there. Under stroke, make it a thin line, 0.25, and we want a dash line. And the dashes of that, you'll see are too big. They're not necessarily wrong, but you're better off making a bit smaller. So just make them maybe five point dashes. Okay, so that's all good. So we want this guy. So option click across to here to get another one and then just put them into the right spot oops sorry about that so we want to put one there and option click across so that's going to go there so apple zero so we've got two guys it's hard to see with the guides behind them but you can see that there's two guides there just copy paste however you want to do it you can redraw them again but to save doing that so these ones are going to sit there down to the next page so paste again they're going to go there and paste again and they'll go here all right so now we've got all the guides as i said a bit hard to see but you know they are there we're all set up we've got everything ready to go all good there should be one there okay so to pdf this now just to check that you have done it right it's just file adobe pdf presets we'll do small file size in this case Okay, so just give it a name, save it wherever you can, or that's fine. So save it where you wanted to save it. And what we want to do is we just we want both pages. We want to view PDF after exporting, and under marks and bleeds, you just want crop marks, which is the crop marks, which will tell the printer where to cut it. Registration marks and page information, which will give you a name down the bottom. We want to use document bleed settings and include slug area. Okay, so as far as these are a bit confusing. I don't use them, so you don't. It, that's fine. So you've got crop marks, rego marks, and page information. So if I export that now, and the other thing which is important is view PDF because it means you don't have to go and look for it after you've done it. And go export. Okay. So we can see now. So we've got a two-page PDF, and that's the front page. So it's got the trim marks. They're automatically generated because we asked for trims. The fold marks where it's going to fold. And also down here, it's got the name of the document, which is really important if you're looking for a file later on. Okay, so that's a very quick run on how to set up a DL with file marks. So I'll show you how to put stuff in it and bleed and stuff in the next one. But okay, cheers.